I think upgrading to the newest iPhone or any other smartphone for that matter is not worth it these days. Let me explain why. Hey, I'm Benice and if you're new here, consider subscribing down below. But in this video, I want to cover two major points or two arguments why I think it's not worth upgrading to, for example, the newest iPhone that is coming out later this year or any other new smartphone. So the first point is that phones got insanely good. Literally, the rate of improvement from one phone to the another is it's basically, it's very minimal. Previously, there was a big difference in models from previous generation. Nowadays, phones are basically identical with just added a uh, few extra features. So this begs the question, do you actually need those additional small features that phones offer? Most people don't really think about that and just want the newest, the, the latest model, when in reality, most of the features that those extra features that the newest models offer, they're not gonna use, uh, probably, except probably the camera, uh, but it, it's barely noticeable and our smartphones now can actually, are, are capable of doing everything we need and that extra rate of, of improvement does cost a lot. And this is a perfect segue into the second point that phones got crazy expensive. If you look at this chart, you can see that the price of an iPhone has increased dramatically over the years. And the funny thing is that features have actually not increased at the same rate as the price did. So you're paying more and actually getting less. The major point here is that when a new phone comes out, a new model of an iPhone, let's say, the previous models, which I mean are new phones and excellent and very well working, get cheaper. And I think those types of phones have the best deal because they do offer all of the features that you actually need and you actually will use, but their price is actually dropping just because, well, they're the, you know, not the newest model anymore. So whenever a new iPhone comes out, don't actually look at the newest phone, look at the previous model and see how much the price has dropped and it's only been a year. You know that iPhones come out every single year and believe me, you don't really need those extra features in a year. You, you're fine, you're gonna be using the same Instagram, Facebook, social media, Gmail, and whatever. So for most people, it, it doesn't make a difference. The previous models can actually do the same thing as the new model. For example, I do have an iPhone X, which I bought, I think now two, three years ago and the phone is still kicking in, it's still working well. And there is no reason to upgrade unless Apple or any other manufacturer offers a major feature upgrade. For example, they release a phone that has a three day battery, battery life. And that is the feature that may be worth that extra cost. But besides that, previous year models are the best deal out there. Of course, there is an exception and I'm only talking in general and everybody's situation is different, but if you already have a phone that you've been using for four plus years and you wanna upgrade, in that scenario, it may make sense to actually buy the most recent model and then keep that for the next four years. However, it's still, it's a gray zone because you would be buying a phone as it's you know, maximum price. And I think you should still try to look up the previous models because the price literally drops just 200 or 300 or even like half of the price drops when a new model comes out. So before you go in and just buy the new iPhone 12 that come out, comes out this year, please try it and check and compare the features, the actual features to the previous model and see if there is anything that really makes a difference for you. I know Apple likes to um, say 50% increase in power, 20% increase in, in, in processing or whatever, but I mean, come on, now if, if you have a phone that's a previous model, I mean, does it run slow? Do you actually notice it? I mean, is, is there a difference really? Personally, this phone, I will be using that, I mean, <laughs> until it goes bad. And I don't see myself changing in the next year, at least maybe even two years. The phone runs okay. And I think the only thing that can 
like sort of damage this phone is the battery. This is that degrades the most over time. But right now I think I'm at like at 85% and it's totally fine with me. If you like this video, consider dropping a like down below. It really helps out the channel. We're almost at 500 subscribers at the time of this recording. So please subscribe down below as well if you want similar content like this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.